I got shot in the foot after winning the big lotto prize three times in a row. Hi, my name is Larry Blair. I'm a math professor in Oklahoma. Everything happened so quickly. I was walking out in the parking lot of the mall when suddenly I was attacked by two masked guys. It's a very strange sensation to know that you have a gun at your head. At first, I didn't know what they wanted from me. I told them to search my pockets and to take all the money. But they wanted something else. They wanted the secret that made me win the lottery three times in a row and a few times before that. I even have a sketch of one of the aggressors. It's the same picture that was presented to the police. The criminals were never apprehended. They kept asking me, How the heck did you do it? What's your secret for winning the lottery? Tell us or we'll kill you. What in the world should I tell them? How can I tell them how I win the lottery with a gun pointed at my head? I cracked, and I swear to God that I acted purely on instinct. I stumbled and told them that I needed at least a half an hour, a pen and a sheet of paper, and some silence so I could teach them how to win the lottery consistently. In that moment, they decided to put me into their car and kidnap me. God does exist, and exactly at that moment, an ambulance came into the parking lot with its lights flashing. The bandits thought it was the police and wanted to hide. And that's when I ran, and I ran fast, even though I'm 42 years old. Bang! A firearm sounded in my ears. I felt the bullet in my left foot, but I was still able to run. I finally managed to get in the street and ask for help. The rest is history. Although cracking the lottery code has changed my life, nothing else matters when you have a gun pointed to your head and you realize that in the next minute you might be dead. All you think about is your wife and children. I decided to thank God for saving me by donating a lot of money to charity. After this experience, I realized that life is by far the most precious thing we have, and money should never be the top priority, although it is good to have it. When this happened, and that was about two years ago, I had already won around $3.5 million total. All this money was made by winning the lottery five times in two short months. The last three times, I won in a row, and I was on the front page of all the local newspapers. This is the fame that almost got me killed. I donated $1 million to a foundation that finances libraries in third world countries. Since I'm a professor, I know how important it is to have a proper education. This way, those people at least will have hope. I swore in front of God, and I kept my promise. Can anyone win the lottery? Or how did I manage to kill the lottery five out of ten times? Well, if I would have been asked this question ten years ago, I would have said, no, it's impossible to win so often. But after I spent eight years developing a system that is guaranteed to win five out of ten times, now my answer will be, yes, anyone can win the lottery if they know how to play. You see... I'm a mathematics professor, and I've been passionate about figures since I was young. I admit, I also like to have money, tons of it, because I was raised in a poor family and never got the chance to drive a sporty car or live in a fancy house, until I won the lottery. These two characteristics combined, loving money and mathematics, have transformed me into an addicted lotto player. After playing for years without any luck, I was so intrigued with the probability process that I started to study the archive of numbers extracted from every lottery I could find. It was a gigantic task. At that time, the Internet wasn't as advanced. They didn't have many websites or search engines, and I had to search through physical files manually without any tools. I was searching for a lotto pattern. This huge job took about eight years. It didn't matter too much to me. I had the time of my life because I was playing with numbers. After countless failed revelations and endless testing, on a beautiful day in April, I decided to give my latest discovery another shot, and I played a simple ticket that cost me $5. Bang! The next weekend hit me with the best news of my life. I won $200,000 in cold cash. I hit all six numbers. There just wasn't a lot of money in the game that week. From that point on, it was a piece of cake. The lotto pattern had been discovered. I knew I would never need to worry about money again. My secret was making me money like crazy. After another two weeks, bang, another $125,000 prize won. As you can see, I didn't win every single time, but it didn't matter. I had enough money and time to perfect my formula even more. I already had the winner's platform, and it was only a matter of time until I hit the big jackpot. I finally won a $1 million jackpot in May of 2007. And for the next three weeks, I was the only person who won the big prize. It wasn't possible to be accused of something because everyone knew that it's impossible to cheat the lottery. I was on the front page of the local newspapers, and the money was floating into my accounts. 
How does the lottery black book system work? Step one. Get yourself a notebook only for the lottery. Establish the lotto game that you want to play and track down the winning numbers exactly how I teach you in my book. Step two. After you have all the winning numbers, apply this simple formula, and you'll find it in my book, that gives you the 48.7% chance of winning every time you play. Step three. Wait for the extraction and see how it worked. If you win, go and take your prize. I, I repeat, there's a big chance to win the very first time. But it can happen that you may not win. Don't despair. I, I told you that the efficiency of my formula can be seen within just a few weeks. Step four. If you do win, repeat the process over and over again. If you don't win, be patient and play again. It's more of a when situation, not an if. Step five. Don't share your information with anyone else. Think what would happen if all the players had the secret key. There are some extra steps that I recommend. Step six, after you win, be careful to keep a low profile. There are a lot of desperate people, especially with this crisis, who will do anything for your money. And step seven, make a donation. This way you'll be achieving peace of mind. It feels good. Don't be greedy. As Al Pacino said in Devil's Advocate, vanity is definitely one of my favorite sins. It's true. The same thing happened to me, and I couldn't help myself from getting all the things that I dreamt about since I was young. I bought a big house. I bought two sports cars and an Escalade for my wife. I traveled the world. I watched my relatives dying to know my secrets, and suddenly I became to them a very interesting guy. You should try these feelings. It feels great to know that you're out of debt for the rest of your life, that you don't need to worry again about money, and that you can do anything you like. Go anywhere you want to and not worry about loans coming back to haunt you, or that your children won't have money for college. I was greedy, I admit it. Not necessarily for the money, but more for the fame, and this is about to cost me my life. This part you already know, and I'll skip over it, but... What's more interesting is the fact that even if I'm the guy who has cracked the lottery code,